It is a big day for students in Frederick County, Maryland. They are headed back to class. Marcella Robertson is at Governor Thomas Johnson High School to fill us in on what they should expect. Good morning, Marcella. Tony, good morning. Yeah, it is certainly a, an exciting day. A lot of anxiety also around this day, but we have students here already uh, here at the high school and they are excited. They're getting ready for a big day. We've got 45,000 students that are returning to in person learning here in the county. Another 1,000 that will remain virtual. We also have Tracy Kibler, who is a principal here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Tracy, you've been a principal and an administrator for a long time here in the county. Talk about what the last year and a half has been like. You know, I don't want to word, use words like unprecedented. I think we've outplayed those words, but to say absolutely memorable. Um, my career has certainly had a lot of twists and journeys, but nothing like the last 18 months. And the task and I think the trials that administrators, our county leadership, our teachers and our students have had to face, um, I truly believe in my heart in the long run are going to gain, we're going to gain wisdom and knowledge from that that's going to make us stronger um, and, and more a higher efficiency in this profession, but it has been an exhausting journey. <laughs> it has been a rewarding one at the same time because we're going to open these doors with more expertise where we've professionally grown in ways that we never imagined that we would. And what we're going to bring to our students now on top of the energy and the excitement to have them back, I, I think the possibilities are unlimitless. And how are you feeling this morning knowing that the doors are going to open here soon? To say I'm excited is an understatement. Um, I am fueled by the students. I always tell them they're the gasoline to my engine and for the last 18 months I feel like I've been running on fumes. Um, to see their faces even though they're going to be behind masks, um, it's something that we've all missed. The energy that's been at back to school night um, at athletic practices at some of the events that we've had already this school year. You can feel it. It overwhelms you with positivity and so I, I couldn't be more excited. I'm actually a little emotional. I'm not going not gonna to lie to you. <laughs> Certainly a big day and of course a lot of safety protocols also in place, masks uh, indoors, and then on all the school buses, but I'm sure you're excited to see those students back. We are. We are incredibly excited, and our staff is, I haven't seen this much energy in our staff for a while, and I think it's probably the same all around the county. I have children of my own in the school system, and I've just from the emails from their teachers that we've been getting, we are ready to have our kids back. Tracy, thank you so much. We appreciate it. So there you have it, guys. Again, 45,000 students returning to in-person learning. We'll let the, the cheerleaders take us out with a little something. <laughs> but uh, certainly a, a lot of excitement here, guys. Back to you.